So despite all the hype, it looks like Apple and Samsung flagships won't be powered by silicon carbon battery technology in 2025. Apple decided to stick with the good old graphite based lithium ion for the iPhone Air. And honestly, it makes sense. As exciting as silicon carbon sounds, it does come with a few safety trade-offs. If this new technology does arrive in time for the 2026 iPhone, the battery life gains could be massive for the iPhone 18 and Galaxy S26. Let's break it down. Now, Apple did pull off something impressive with the iPhone Air's internal design. The huge breakthrough came from how they shaped the chassis and battery. Engineers shifted the logic board, turned most of the phone's center into pure battery and used something called metal can technology. Basically, that is a rigid metal casing that lets the battery take new shapes and sit closer to the frame edge. Something that just wasn't possible before with flexible foil pouches that are often used in older smartphones. That alone frees up a ton of space and when you combine it with the more efficient A19 processor and optimized software, you're looking at a phone that does way more with the exact same battery chemistry. But that triple threat came too soon for the iPhone Air because it still uses a graphite based lithium ion battery. For anyone wondering, lithium ion batteries use graphite as the anode material. This method is largely safe, reliable, and predictable and has been used for years in consumer tech gadgets. The main limitation is capacity. The amount of charge the battery holds depends directly on the physical size of the battery, which is why there's always that compromise between a slim phone and long battery life. Silicon carbon anodes change that equation. Mixing silicon into the carbon lets batteries store more lithium, which makes them denser. So that means slimmer phones or longer run times or probably both. But there's a catch. Silicon expands more while charging, which can shorten the battery's lifespan. So manufacturers use small amounts of silicon and clever engineering to control the swelling and keep the durability reasonable. The idea is that phones with carbon silicon batteries can be thinner and or last longer on a single charge. We've already seen this in a few places on some Chinese phones. Brands like Xiaomi, Realme, Huawei, and OnePlus are flirting with carbon silicon technology and huge batteries in those phones. But those brand names should give you a clue as to Apple's plans. This is not yet mainstream technology, and Apple is rarely first out of the gate to test potentially volatile new hardware. The company doesn't want a new battery gate etched into its iPhone 17 Wikipedia page. For better or worse, anything Apple does makes the news in a way Xiaomi's tech simply doesn't. So Apple will always be cautious. Even Samsung made a similar call with the Galaxy S25 Edge. Instead of going for silicon carbon, Samsung tweaked its internal layout, introduced a redesigned camera sensor module and moved components closer to the device's edges to free up more room for a battery. In an interview with Tom's Guide, Samsung's Blake Geyser said they wanted to focus on reliability and efficiency, especially with the company's new AI tools helping manage power usage. It's something that we're definitely not keeping our eye off of, but with you know that new chipset, with Agentic AI helping with performance and efficiencies of these batteries, we really felt that you know going with our traditional lithium ion battery was the right move for this device. Still, there is strong evidence that Apple is already laying the groundwork for its next step. Gene Berdichevsky, the co-founder of battery materials company Sela, told TechCrunch that Apple's new metal can design could easily pave the way for silicon integration. He called it pretty revolutionary since it helps push performance limits while keeping the swelling issue in check. So when you put it all together, more space efficient design today, plus the potential for carbon silicon batteries tomorrow, is quite exciting. We are due a jump in battery life, which basically never happens because of how little innovation there is in the battery space. If Samsung moves first with a silicon carbon battery in the Galaxy S26, that'll be a clear signal that Apple is not far behind. 2026 could actually live up to the hype and deliver the giant battery gains we've been waiting a decade for. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you think 2026 will be the year of the giant battery in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech news.